So here we are in the market town of Dursley, where there is only one thing on everybody's mind, and it's the coronavirus. We've seen it spread worldwide and also rapidly around the UK. So we're going to have a little chat with our local convenience store about what they're doing about rationing products and stocking up their shelves. So here I'm joined in our local convenience store with Tika Patel. So can you tell us exactly what you've been doing for the preparation of the coronavirus? Yes, we've got the hand gel for customers to use. And this is the only, I've only got one and a half bottles left and we can't get any more stock at the moment. And we're rationing the toilet rolls as they're going out. Really, people are piling up too many toilet rolls, we've rationed them. And we'd like telling all the our senior customers that if they want the papers delivered, any groceries delivered, we'll deliver them to them free of charge so they can stay indoors, they don't have to come out. And we'll try to look after and support the local community as far as we can go. Now, it's great to see in a convenience store that some of the shelves are filled. So you've got plenty of tins of tomatoes, you've got some pasta, she's got paracetamol behind her. So there is absolutely everything that you need. So it is so important that you do support your local convenience stores. Now, how have you found actually getting the stock in? Has it been easy or have you had to go on like a waiting list for stock? How have you been able to grab those? It's been really good so far. It's just toilet rolls. We're finding it hard to get hold of and hand sanitizers. I managed to get some uh, antibacterial wipes as well, but I've just sold out. So I've only got like one or two packets left. And how often, as a local convenience store, are you wiping the surfaces, wiping the card machine? What are you doing to try and stop the germs spreading? I try to do it every half an hour, depending on my, like if I'm too busy, then it becomes like slightly delayed, but I try to do it every half an hour to the door handles, card machines, counters, and things like that. I try to wipe them with the antibacterial wipes. And have you guys got masks in place? Because I know the post office up the road, they're giving out 100 masks at half past three. So have you got yours ready in place? I have got masks, yes, but I'm in advice not to wear them because they don't really work unless you've properly got the virus to stop spreading. And if it's a surgical mask, you're not supposed to keep it on for a longer time. So you've got to keep changing them every half an hour if possible. Well, that's really interesting. There's so much speculation going around about the hygiene, but it's so good to know that you're taking care of the local store and that your shelves are full as well. Thank you, Tika Patel. So we're joined in the local post office with the owner, Chowdhury Hussein. Now, why is it that you've decided to give out 100 complimentary masks this afternoon? First of all, it's uh, this time of the, uh, with the coronavirus, we are here to happy, uh, we are here happy to help local community. And um, I feel, you know, that with the elderly people, uh, uh, we need to be make sure they are safe out and about and mobile. Uh, so I think the giving out or you know the having the mask around uh, is help them to protect uh, you know the, from the germs and bacteria stuff like that. And uh, we also offer our customer, our local community, we're happy to deliver if they want to stay home, uh, newspaper, bread, milk, butter, whatever they would like. Uh, we are happy to go out of the way and uh, deliver them. Uh, same time, my staff is very helpful. They are willing to help in every way. So I'm now joined with Caroline. So how are you going about COVID-19? Okay, so I own a shop in Dursley in Gloucestershire and for the last week we've been using hand gel after handling any of the change uh, well, that customers have been giving us and I've been bleach spraying the door handle um, in and out probably about once every hour because obviously people need to touch that to come in and out of the shop. And how important is community spirit in the market town of Dursley right now? I think the community spirit here is what makes the small town stand out for, from the people that live in a large city we've got a town traders whatsapp group and all the time we're talking to each other on the whatsapp group saying how can we support our customers how can we support the vulnerable people 
um, if we haven't seen vulnerable people around in town for a while, you know, one of us will message and say, you know, what are we going to do? And we will make sure that we contact either their um, carers or perhaps their GPs just to alert them that they're not about. And I think the same will happen during this um, COVID-19 um, sort of uh, episode, should we call it. Uh, and, we, you know, we're just out to help people. You know, we don't want people to be isolated. You know, we need to contact them uh, through phone so that they're not feeling um, alone and maybe getting low mentally because mental illness is a real worry when people are self-isolating and I feel that we need to support people to keep them buoyant, keep them, give them activities to do during the day um, and just make sure that people genuinely are looking out for them and caring for them. So I'm here with Dawn who's just collected her complimentary mask and you also suffer from emphysemia. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you feel towards the COVID-19? I, I am a bit worried about it for myself and people that are ill with lung conditions and people with diabetes and things like that because my grandson's got diabetes so I am a bit worried about it in case I get it because I will probably die if I get it and I am worried about it. And what are you doing about this? So you, obviously you've collected your mask and then what else are you doing to try and stop picking anything germs up? Well, the only reason I've come out today is because it's my granddaughter's birthday and I'm going to see her, but otherwise I'll stay in. Um, my husband works at university, so I'm a bit worried about him bringing it home. So, but other than that, that's all I can do to self isolate That's it. I I'm wash I'm washing my hands all the time. I've got hand gel in my bag and I've got me mask okay. now. Well, I've got me wipes. <laughs> so I'm all set. So that's all I can do. Just stay in. So as you can see, that was so easy to apply. Now, if you are lucky enough to be on Silver Street in Dursley, you can grab your complimentary mask from your local post office. And it is so important if you wear them, if you do feel like you've got the symptoms of COVID-19. The new coronavirus can spread through respiratory droplets, which are liquids that may come out when we call for sneeze. For this reason, it's very important to avoid close contact with anyone who has fever and cough or other respiratory symptoms. In practical terms, we recommend keeping at least one meter distance from a sick person also, you should avoid shaking hands, hugging or kissing people with these symptoms. If you need to take care of a person who has fever, cough and difficult breathing, do not forget to wear a mask and in particular to practice hand hygiene. If you need more information on how to protect yourself from the new coronavirus, check the WHO website at who.int. Thank you.